Welcome fellow painters and decorators of the interweb, DIYers, people who want to know a little bit about painting and decorating. Now one of the big problems that I'm seeing on a lot of Facebook pages, Instagram pages, questions being thrown about on the forums of the internet, people are having problems with paint and surface tension and you don't you don't know what I mean by surface tension. A lot of people don't know what I mean about surface tension. I'll tell you what surface tension is. It's where you've got two different surfaces, paint surfaces, that drying times fluctuate. You're going, what do you mean? What are you talking about, Phil? Right, if you've got a vinyl silk, a gloss, those drying times of a vinyl silk or a gloss are gonna be different to a matte emulsion, a vinyl matte contract matte. And I'm seeing people have got certain areas of the house, whether it be a bathroom, might be a kitchen, where they've probably had a vinyl silk on the ceiling and then they come in to put a matte paint over the top and they're coming against problems. Do you know what problems are meaning? Yeah, you do, don't you? So I'm just going to touch on how you, I won't say sort it out, but how you actually get round where you've got different surfaces and you're going to be painting over a different one. Right, if you've got a vinyl silk ceiling in a bathroom or a kitchen and you want to go over with a matte paint, best thing to do is rub it down first. Give it a key, give it a little braid, and you might find that that is just enough to make your matte paint go over the top and not cause you any problems. But if you do get problems, give it a bit of a key, give it a coat of something like Zinza Guards or a Primer Sealer paint, like a um, Optiva Primer, Ticarilla Optiva Primer. There's various different paints that have got a durability stroke, adhesion content to their paint that helps you go over these surfaces that are a little bit problematic. You're fine if you're going silk on silk or silk with soft sheen, but you do get problems if you go with a matte paint over a, let's call it vinyl silk. So either prime it, sand it down, sand it down, prime it, then coat up and you should be fine. But that isn't what today's video is. I want to elaborate on that surface tension and I want to talk about decorative paint finishes because off the back of vinyl silks and mats and having problems, you can actually turn that on its head and create an effect that you might want. Say no more, I'm going to show you. Right, what I've been doing. Surface tensions. I've got a piece of board, and I've got it down there, and you've probably seen it at the beginning of the video where I'm coating it up with gloss. You can't get much more of a surface tension than gloss. Yes, oil gloss. You know where I'm coming from, don't you? Oil gloss, it's going to take longer to dry. And I'm going to show you a crackle finish that you can achieve by putting oil gloss on a surface, letting it dry off, and then going over with a paint that hasn't got that oil stroke gloss content, so it's going to dry quicker. Don't shout it. Yes! Yeah, we're going to go with a matte paint, like an emulsion. So my idea is you put your gloss paint on, let it dry off, put a matte emulsion, a matte finish, a water-based matte finish over the top and then see what happens. And I'm going to show you the effects you can get. Hopefully you can see me. Now, in the bit of a trailer, because I don't want to bore you, I'm going to keep it quite simple. I've got four sets of gloss paint all done at the same time. But I've started to put you remember from that video previously where I've used chalk paint from Aldi, I'm using the charcoal chalk paint, which is there, and I put that chalk paint on straight out the tin, it's not been thinned down, over the gloss that had been tacking up, like going off, to been 15 minutes. I did another one, and this is starting to get to the effect, that had been done 25 minutes. Can you see that crackle finish? That was it after 15. It was sissing slightly. That'll probably 
change over time. Sissing slightly. We've got 25 minutes there. We've got a 40 minutes and we've got a 60 minutes. So as I'm speaking to you now, I'm just coming up to the 40 minutes. So I'm going to apply some paint to that 40 minute, there you go, to that 40 minute sample of gloss. So you're gonna watch me. I'm gonna do half of it. I'm gonna do half of it. This is straight out the tin. All right, I'm gonna do half of it with the black. Brush it on any direction, it doesn't matter. Brush it out. There you go. I'm happy with that. That's 40 minutes worth of tacking off of the white gloss and we've gone over it with the black. I'm going to wash my brush out and I'm going to use French Chic Al Fresco to see how that compares on a 40 minutes worth of tacking off gloss. So bear with me on that and I'll be back in a few takes. So here we are, you can hear me, probably can't see me. I've got the French Chic Al Fresco, which is an interior exterior paint and it's got that chalk mineral content. It doesn't have to be anything like this, you can just use ordinary Dulux vinyl matte, crown matte, nothing too complicated. But I'm going to put this lovely, it's the limited edition McPhee, you've seen it on a previous video, right, just there where I've used McPhee on garden furniture outside. Right, I'm just brushing this over the surface. Touched a bit of the black, doesn't matter. Now because the tack off, the tack off, I don't know whether that's a word or not, because the gloss had tacked off just enough, you don't get it sissing. Whereas if you try it, too soon it scissors on you as you're trying to put the emulsion because I've done a bit of experimenting this morning different sorts of glosses finishes to see how we can get the effect right I'm going to leave that out because my next sample piece is 60 minutes so I've got probably another 10 to 15 minutes to go before I put on there and I'll do exactly the same I'll do a, a, ye um, a yellow gone colour blind I'll do McPhee orange there half of it and then I'm going to try I've got using up stuff in my garage workshop I've got some Helmi 10 which is a flat finish there's not a lot in there, and I'll do the other half in Helmi 10, just to give you an idea of different paints and how they react. But the principle is the same. You've got a surface that's gonna take longer to dry, and you can't get anything longer than an oil-based gloss to work on, that will then give you that crackle finish. And so far, 25 minutes in, you can see that one there. I'll pick that up. It's giving a lovely finish. The 15 minutes was probably a little bit too soon and that's why I want to experiment and show you that that was sissing but I'll talk about that at the end. Let's just see how these manifest themselves in the next 10 to 15 minutes and then in an hour's time when we review it. Over and out. So it's been about nearly 10 minutes since I um, last saw you. Nearly 15 minutes up now I suppose. So that 40 minutes worth of the gloss tacking off. Do you want to have a look? 
it's not bad. Still drying. Here we are, look. There's the black at 40 minutes and the orange is starting to go as well. You can see the effect that's coming. It's quite nice. As I said, that was the first one I did at 15 minutes. Let's move that around so you can see it. At 15 minutes, and because the gloss was still quite fresh, the black over it was sliding across. There was a bit of surface tension that was making it cis more than starting to go crackle. But that's not bad at 40 minutes. The one that I did at 25 minutes is going lovely. That's probably your optimum prime is that Transformers or is that Optimus Optimus I mean, yeah Optimus Prime but 25 minutes is looking good and now we're going to start because we're nearly up to it 60 minutes now this is all the stuff that I used to teach at Basel College in Nottingham with Mike Meyer he was the lead senior lecturer and I was his understudy and we it was back in the mid 90s decorative paint finishes like this were very popular and we used to do the marble in the graining this sort of stuff tortoise shell uh, all bits and pieces like that and that was a dedicated decorative paint finish course at Basel College in Nottingham that uh, well I did four years of learning it with my apprenticeship then when I did the teacher training I went on and actually um, taught on that class stroke course as well so this is all stuff that you learn at college. So don't knock it. Don't knock it. Never really done much of it, but I can do it. But the principle, forget that, the principle that surface tensions can affect your paint finishes. This is just the other to the extreme of using it to your advantage. So where you've got people complaining that they've got paints coming off because they put in a matte paint over a vinyl silk or it's crosslin or crackling, that is your problems that you're getting. It's the surface tension of the paint and you've got to know how to address it. But today, we're using it to our advantage and we're getting some lovely finishes coming. So let's get on with this. See what it's like after 60 minutes, the glass. So here we are, we're 60 minutes. Let's do the orange there. And again, I'm just brushing it on. It pulls slightly because of the gloss. And you saw at the beginning, this is just straightforward, Dulux high gloss. Nothing complicated, you could use any gloss. Well, as long as it's oil. So let's get this on. That goes on nicely because the gloss is properly tacked off. Starting to form a skin and dry, and that's what you want. Let's just brush this out. You do a crow's nest effect. And we'll leave it at that. Yeah. I'm going to wash that brush out and I'll do the Helmy just there. So this is Helmy 10, which is a, a flatter eggshell finish. I'm just trying to experiment with you to show you that different paints can give you different effects. So we've had the chalky paints, and now let's go for a little bit better quality woodwork paint. Or if you're in America, you call it trim. And I'm just brushing it on, just with a little flat brush. You can use any, you can use any brush that you like. Just brushing it round. Getting it covering, I don't want it covering to obliterate it that I'm putting too much on. But spread it out, nice even coverage. 
And you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. You can see these are really reacting quite nicely. This one here. This one here is 25 minutes. These are the 40 minute ones. They're doing really well. That 15 minutes, as I said earlier, it was done too quickly. So we discount 15 minutes. But on these sample boards that I've been doing before I started talking to you, these are really, can you see that? Really good. That was probably 45 minutes worth of gloss with the black chalk paint, black chalk paint, charcoal going over it. So you can get it smaller or bigger depending on how long you leave your gloss to tack off and also how thin your paint is. Experiment. There's no right or wrong way of doing it as long as you get the effect. And I'll say that honestly. So let's come back, let's give it half an hour and we'll see how these are all reacting. So there we have it everybody, probably been an hour, maybe a bit over an hour since I spoke to you last. Now just as a recap, I've got a board, I put a coat of oil based gloss in one, two, three, four sections and the idea is to create a crackle finish. It's different surface tensions get different effects. Now we've used the French Chic Al Fresco. We've used the Deco style chalk paint from Aldi. And I've even had a go with Ticarilla's Halmi 10. So that's a good quality paint. That's probably about a shy 30 quid for a, well, they're about a litre, aren't they? 30 quid for a 0.9 of a litre, 900 mil. 3.99. Can't remember how much that is, and they're about 15 to 20 pounds. It's 500 mil, might not be as much as that. So, coat of gloss, I've marked it out. We had, let's bring it up here, look. 15 minutes before we applied a finish. We've got a 25 minutes, a 40 minutes, and a 60 minutes. So, this is just to show you how it can affect the drying times of the top crackle finish. Right, so let's just recap. 15 minutes in, I put the black, you can see it there, chalk paint over it. Now, when I was applying it, by it's just a little brush, because small areas, just nice synthetic brush. This is the um, Axis Decor brush. Applied it, the gloss was still too, in inverted commas, new. It was still too wet shall we say wet but this is why I did it 15 minutes it didn't brush out very nice to put the black on and it's cyst but we've got an effect coming we can see it starting there right the next one I did let's flip it over was 25 minutes in and this is neat paint don't forget neat paint brushed it on any direction the gloss I'd had 25 minutes to go off before we put the black mat on. Nice effect. You see that? We like that. Nice effect. Right, the next one. 40 minutes. Now this is where we mixed it up a bit. We went for the alfresco there, plus we've got a black there. Now 40 minutes in, really nice. Now the difference in paint, chalk paint and the alfresco from French Chic is an interior exterior. Bit of a chalky base, I mean it says on the tin, chalk and mineral furniture paint. That went on nice, that went on nice, and look at the effects we've got with that. That's 40 minutes in. Can you see that? Brilliant, I really like it. We stepped it up a gear, didn't we? We did it at 60 minutes, it was as good as an hour. French Chic Alfresco, 
on the orange, see that? Really effective. And then we've got the better, I'll say better quality paint. This is a Helmy 10, which is like an eggshell. Now this has got stuff in it to make it a nice finish. 60 minutes in on that, it's not really worked, has it? Now it's not worked because it isn't a flat enough finish. You're gonna say, well, it's a flat finish. I know it is. It's not a cheap flat finish, i.e. it's not like an emulsion. You're following me, aren't you? You need to get this effect, you're better to use a flatter emulsion type of paint. And these chalk paints, the one from Aldi, and even the French Chic are flat finishes. And this is where you get a really nice effect. You could use ordinary matte emulsion. So don't think you've got to spend on this. But your experimenting is how long you need to let that base of the oil gloss go off before you apply the finish, i.e. the top coats. Now, if you're going off my recommendation, you've got 25 minutes was nice, 40 minutes is nice, and 60 minutes is nice. So going off the back of that, the longer you can leave it, and so long as it's still tacky, and that's still tacky now, you can apply one of your finishes to get this sort of effect. Interesting, isn't it? And this is where I said earlier on in the video, people are having problems putting matte emulsion over vinyl silk ceilings, emulsion, vinyl silk ceilings in bathrooms and wondering why they're either getting a crackle finish or it's not adhering to it and it's because you've got different surface tensions and the adhesion's not there. you followed that haven't you? But for us, as this video's shown, we're doing decorative finishes like I used to do back at college, keep going on about that. Here you can actually do it yourself, you don't have to buy specialist paints, do it by getting something that stays open longer, i.e your oil-based gloss, which was the Dulux, and put in something that's gonna dry quick over the top, which is a water-based emulsion. And that's where you get the different surface tensions giving you this effect. So on that note, I'm gonna say thanks for listening to me. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up, press that bell if you wanna subscribe, press that bell if you want to subscribe and get notifications. There's always that thanks button as uh, there's always that thanks button as well, but off the back of this What do you think of these give us some comments? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one